you abuse the body a lot. But as far as me coming back in the sport of boxing, absolutely not. As far as me doing an exhibition again, probably not. Now, anybody that heard that entire press conference, one thing you should taken, have taken away from that, if not anything else, is that Floyd Mayweather's done. The same thing you should have took from the fight itself. Floyd Mayweather is done as a professional fighter, and he should be. The man's 44 years old. There's nothing really left in the tank. I mean, don't get me wrong. He showed, he could show flashes. But it's nothing really left in the tank, nor is there anything to prove except for delusional fans that really just want to see the man get hurt. That's it. Only thing he has left is to spill blood on the canvas to, to get knocked out because he's way past his prime. And you, you have people like Canelo Alvarez fans and Canelo Alvarez himself, because trust me, he would love to get Floyd in the ring. And Manny Pacquiao fans, and Pacquiao as well, they would like to get a little payback. But the man is done. He's done. And to show you just how much he really is done, I'm going to let Robert Garcia speak on it because you're not going to believe me. Maybe you'll believe Robert. Let's listen to Robert, what Robert Garcia had to say. How many years has it been since Mikey beat, you know, won that lawsuit with, with, with top rank? Uh, it's been a few years. It's been like five, six yeah. years, right? Yeah. Okay, that's when Mayweather came to the gym. Right. That's when Mayweather came to the gym, you know, to talk to Mikey and this. And we were sitting, me, Mikey, and, and Mayweather, we sat by ourselves uh, right there by the ring. And we told him, how about you? You know, what do you mean, how about you? How, how about, you know, like working out a deal with well, Mikey? Floyd was trying to sign uh, Mikey. Floyd right? was trying to, you know, get Mikey. You know, Mikey became a free agent, so he was trying to get Mikey to uh, Andre's promotion. And we told him, okay, how about, how about we do a certain amount of fights, but the last fight is against you, wow. Mikey versus Floyd. And he says, nope, I'm never gonna fight again. My body is already, he told us, my body is already, it's already done, you know, yeah. it's beat up. I've had too many workouts, too many training camps, too many rounds of sparring. He told us, I cannot fight anymore. And this was like five, six years ago, yeah. right now, Maybe even worse. He's 44 now. Exactly, he's 44. So maybe he was 39 when, when he was here, you know. Right. So he could still, okay, we could still say maybe he could still fight. So we told him, how about you and you, you and Mikey? We do a three or four fight deal, but the last fight against Mayweather, against like, you. Like passing the torch, mate. Yes, and, 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 and he said, no, I can't do that anymore. I'm not going to fight on a real fight never again because my body's, you guys don't understand. Uh, my body is already, you know, my bones, my, my body is already, is already, uh, it's hurting. It's already, it, exactly, it's hurting pain. I, it's in pain. I cannot fight anymore. Now, for those that, uh, that might have not been familiar with that, that's when Floyd Mayweather, I mean, as the man said, that's when Floyd Mayweather came to visit, um, the Garcia gym out in California. Now, this picture right here is the same instance. It's just, uh, this is still a photo. He's actually watching Mikey Spar right there. And um, this is him taking him out to the fights. Like Floyd, you know, he, he invested a lot in trying to get the Garcias on the money team. Now, with that being said, just, just to let you know that, that what, what uh, Robert was saying was legitimate, just in case you, you, know, you doubted that. But um, like the man said, Floyd Mayweather was done back then. Now, now he said this was five years ago. And as you saw the video I put up, it actually had a date on it, right? I believe it was September uh, 2016. Well, let's, let's put this in perspective. Let's check out when he fought Conor McGregor. Matter of fact, hold up, because he actually said something in the video that I, I need to play real quick. Real excited about it. What makes you so excited about Mike? signed to another company. Um, I still invited him to our, to our gym to watch me train. I remember that. If, if, if I can help him in any way, his brother already is, is a marvelous trainer. Only thing I want to do is just tweak certain things and make him a pay-per-view star, which I know I can do. Speaking of pay-per-view, it's so hard today to sell any pay-per-view, but if Floyd Mayweather fights Conor McGregor, Right here on 
my side, it's on the undercar. And, and we're steady building, you know, we, we're building. You know, um, I'm sitting down with Robert Garcia. All right, right there, you heard what he said, right? This was before the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight, and that's the same night that you saw with those pictures. So, just to, just to put it in perspective, go look at the Conor McGregor fight. We wondered why Floyd looked, you know, why he wasn't showing a lot of movement, why it came straight at Conor. Man, the dude wasn't the same guy. You could see it then. But yet you keep hearing, oh, Canelo will do this to him. Canelo will do that to him. He's supposed to. That's a 44-year-old man. 44. Right? Now, he was about 39 then when he fought when he fought uh when he fought Conor McGregor. When he fought Canelo, he was 36. I hate to tell y'all this and I'm sorry. If you want to say Canelo wasn't in his prime, okay. But neither was Floyd. People love saying he waited till Manny got old and Floyd wasn't in his prime either. He's actually older than Manny. I mean, y'all really need to stop it, man. Stop it. It's getting old. The man said he ain't doing no more exhibitions. I really hope he is done. I hope he And if he is fighting somebody, fight some old timers. Maybe we'll get a Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao fight that way. An exhibition. But he don't owe nobody anything as far as climbing back into a boxing ring. As a professional, uh, a professional fight, a sanctioned fight, he don't owe anybody anything. Sorry, as he said, y'all had your chances, Canelo, Manny, or anybody else that y'all felt like coulda, woulda, shoulda. You had your chances. It didn't happen. Move on. And that's pretty much all I got. Oh, you know, now nah, you know what? Let me qualify this with one more thing for the people that say, "Hey, man, he ruined his legacy." He, 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 he made a spectacle of boxing. Did you say that about Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali got in there with a, with a, uh, a karate or jujitsu guy. I, I can't remember his name. You can Google it and find out. Muhammad Ali got in there with a, uh, with a football player, Lau Alzado. For y'all old heads that go back to the, you know, to the 80s, 70s, and 80s, you might remember Lau Alzado. Died from steroids. Remember him? Yeah, he fought him. Remember uh, when he fought, he, I think he got in the ring with a wrestler. Same thing as what Floyd did. I think it was Gorilla Monsoon. I would put the video up, but I, I got flagged for that last time I did that. But, uh, yeah, I don't hear nobody crying about the stuff that Muhammad Ali did. And on top of that, Muhammad Ali got whooped when he was in his late 30s trying to fight Larry Holmes and trying to fight Trevor Burby. Did that tarnish his career? So stop it by saying Floyd tarnishing his. Stop it. You sound crazy. There's been plenty of boxers who done exhibitions once they were past their prime or even during their career. Sugar Ray Robinson did it as well. I remember George Foreman fought five guys in one night. It's all on with tomato cans, though. But he actually fought five guys in one night. So if you think Floyd Mayweather's making a spectacle of boxing, well, guess what? Boxing been a spectacle. And that's pretty much all I got this hair busting boxes on. Fight Doctor, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know. Is Floyd Mayweather done? I say, I say he is. And I mean physically, he's done. And I hopefully, hopefully, he's done also with even trying to get back in the ring. I don't want to see the man get hurt. You walked away with your faculties, leave it that way. And that's pretty much all I got to say about some boxes on Fight Doctor. I am out.